Hi, this tutorial is for Code.org Course F Lesson 7, Steps 1 through 5. Here's Step 1. And the directions ask us to draw an equilateral triangle, and it has to be exactly 50 pixels long on each side. So I'm going to press OK. Now there's a message for me that pops up here, and it's showing me some new blocks. Th these blocks have a new way to enter numbers. And we call these variables, and they can be very useful. So we're going to X out that message, and I have to remember that I have to tell the artist to draw this equilateral triangle. And I'm going to use my loop block because he's going to do something three times. What's he going to do three times? He's going to move forward 50 pixels and turn left by 120 degrees. Let's run. Okay, let's move on to puzzle two. All right, puzzle two is asking me to remember what I learned from lesson five, which is using nested blocks or nested loops, sorry. Uh, so we're going to draw three equilateral triangles, which means I'm gonna need a nested loop. So what do I want the artist to do three times? Move forward 50 pixels, turn left 120 degrees, and let's just see up where the artist ends up. Move forward, turn left, move forward, turn left, move forward, turn left. I want him to do that three times, but I don't want him to do it three times in the same place. So I'm going to have to add a move forward block to the end so that when he's done drawing the first triangle, he moves forward one more time before he starts drawing the next triangle. Okay, so let's try this code. All right, let's move on. Puzzle three, I'm uh, sorry, step three is a video and you should not skip that video, but you should watch that on your own. So we're gonna move on to step four. Okay, now that you've watched the video in step three, you should know that a variable is a placeholder for a piece of information that can change such as how many pixels um, the artist should draw. So let's make a prediction here. It, the instructions ask, we have set the variable length to 50. What will happen when you click run? A, the artist will draw a triangle with 50 pixel sides. That sounds good to me. The artist will draw a 50 sided polygon, no. The artist will draw three open sides. No. So I'm going to go with A. The artist will draw a triangle with 50 pixel sides. All right, let's move on to puzzle five. Puzzle five starts with the instructions. Before things get tricky, can you move the length of 50 into a variable so we can use it in the next few puzzles? Okay. So what it's asking us to do is down here, you see an empty uh, puzzle piece here. So it says, can you move the length of 50 into a variable so we can use it? The first thing we're going to do is set the length at 50 up here. So now the length will be 50. But now we have to fill in the puzzle pieces down here with the variable itself, which is simply length. So what you're looking at here is a code that is telling the computer that when um, the variable length is used, it should move 
50 pixels. Now this is a number that can change, but because the instruction said 50, we're keeping it set at 50. Nice job.